Uh, so this is gonna be white trash. This is probably gonna be one of those triggering um, tunes. Let me see how many views it's got. 14 million, yeah, okay, you know. So this is probably gonna be more on the controversial side. It's one of his more popular tunes. Not as popular as White Boy. So, you know, maybe it's not gonna be as bad or as controversial or as triggering. But let's just see. Maybe I will get triggered in this one, who knows? Um, but other than that, guys, if you're excited for this reaction, this episode, this episode, what, 23 now? 24? Episode 24 of the Tom Little Journey, guys. I'm glad to have you guys back as always. If you guys are excited for these episodes, make sure you're smashing that like button, subscribing, and shout out to you guys. I've been going back and you know going over the whole journey and re-watching episodes or going over from the beginning and coming to the to the things now. I really appreciate you guys are enjoying my reactions. And I am as raw authentic as I can. So the fact that you guys are engaging and enjoying the content that I'm putting out, it just means a lot to me because it's just me being me, right? So what more can you want? I mean, ask for. But that being said, let's get straight into the video. Let's go. Come on, scenery. This is for my white trash, the ones the whole world hates. The ones who voted for Trump, they got labeled racist, but ain't the ones with ball caps. Make America great, who love their country to death and struggle on minimum wage. Hey, Come they on. angry that illegal aliens taking work that maybe they could get. Single parents with some baby kids, hated for being a patriot. All my life I've been white trash, all my life it's been like that. The whole world been left leaning, I'm proud of the right who fight back. Been chewed up, been hey. Hey, hey, this so this one's definitely getting political. Cool. and these are um, getting patriotic as well in this sense and i'm guessing that's a uh, mad child in on the right looking cool looking all cool with the glasses on here and then you got tom kind of like in this kind of country kind of young look you know what i'm saying he's it's kind of like what like what do you even call that that um it's like that piece suit i mean that piece whatever i'm not too too tough into fashion but this piece that he's wearing is matching the flag. Don't get it twisted. He's looking patriotic. Got the bandana as well. So he's looking, yeah, he's, he's got energy. He's got energy. All right, let me wheel it back. Let me wheel it back. Let me take it in. Let's go. This is for my white trash. The ones the whole world hates. The ones who Come voted on. for Trump, they got labeled racist, but ain't the ones with Come ball on. caps. Make America great. Who love their country to death and struggle on minimum wage. Hey, they're angry that illegal aliens taking work that maybe they can get. Single parents with some baby kids hated for being a patriot. All my life I've been white trash. All my life it's been like that. The whole world been left leaning. I'm proud of the right who fight back. Been yeah. chewed up and spit out. They scream, but no one listens. They're so in love and vote for Trump because politician there are hey. neighbors there are soldiers are men and women and children they're the middle class families who got forgot by the system uh, oh, God it. we trust and all the guns are just back up rocking camouflage don't tread on me get smoked like tobacco yeah we mm. white trash we rednecks crackers since we were young we grew close we move slow these colors don't run yeah oh. us white trash. these colors don't run Yo, I'm gonna, I might be slow in this one because this is getting, he's getting proper into the political stuff. And obviously in the US, in the USA, I'm sure you guys are way more political than we are in the UK. Like you guys care a lot about politics. Like every day is politics by the looks of it. Um, there's always something going on in the political space. But um, yeah, okay. So he's, 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 he's touching on just, you know, he's representing the patriotic people, the people, these, like he's talking about the types of people he's representing here. And let me just make sure I'm hearing what he's saying properly. All my life it's been like that. The whole world been left leaning. I'm proud of the right who fight he back. back. They chewed up and spit out. They scream, but no one listens. They're right. so in love and vote for Trump because politicians. There are right. neighbors, there are soldiers, are men and women and children. They're the middle class families who got forgot by the system. Uh. Right, right. So he's, okay, I guess he's just speaking on behalf of, I guess, the more right leaning people. You know, these people that are forgot by the system, the middle class, the ones that are fighting for the country, the ones that are forgotten. You know, and Tom really do be like speaking for a lot of people and they're trying to represent, you know, for the voices that, you know, don't have the courage to speak. I know, especially like when the whole, I know if, even from the UK, I had some family that was in New York, right? And just even just hearing um, when people would be like saying they're voting for Trump, like I'm pretty sure from what I heard, it was like you get black blackboard. Like, you know what I'm saying? People want to cancel you already. Like, what? You're voting for Trump? And then obviously when he won the election that time, I feel like everyone was surprised. But then it was one of them ones where like, I mean, you guys might have to let me know, but was it one of those ones where it's like people weren't really surprised because like maybe deep down people, like it was like a silent majority that were voting for him. But just because no one was really saying that like in public, maybe, and the media outlets were probably making it seem like he wasn't going to win. Then people wanted to act like they were surprised. But it was one of them ones where if he was in the culture, you kind of knew what was going on. He didn't want to talk about it until the, you know, the election came out. I mean, the results came out. 
But yeah, um, yeah, you might have to help me fill in the blanks on this one, guys. But yeah, that's what I'm getting so far. Slow, these colors don't run. Yeah. Come on. Talk about it. Hey, first feature that I've seen Tom right now. Let's see what Mad Child's about. Yo, they got energy in this one. Call us white trash. Even when he said that bar before he went into the chorus, saying colors don't run. Now, there's so many ways you can break that one down. I was looking like a double entendre talking about colors not running. He's wearing these types of colors, talking about the colors, you know, maybe representing the, the patriotic colors. And then he's also got colors not running in terms of, I don't know, different races running, all sorts, whatnot. But yeah, I feel like that was a bar. Maybe maybe you guys can help me tap into that one a bit more so. But look, Mad Child, what are you about, bro? This is the first beat, child. This is a special moment. Let's go. Yeah, I'm white, bro. I ain't apologize for you don't like that I like my skin color then you could oh. I like open gun laws I like drunken bar brawls oh. I like drinking Budweiser I like smoking Marlboro we oh. monstered up in them monster trucks rolling in heavy machinery we are believing protecting what's up we got that heavy machinery ah. drink beers in a lawn chair nothing much going on here probably get a few long stairs look you don't belong here hey please don't get mad at me I did not put up the barrier people are judging me for my exterior man are you serious say the word white and they act like the furious mad child and I'm sick as White boy in my pickup truck. Shotguns, my girls, muddy. I'm a firecracker. We lit it up. We yeah, what that about? What that about? Broski came in on some. I'm white and I don't give a... Man, like, he was... He came with that energy, man. Unapolog apologetic energy. I can see where this combo is coming in now because Tom's unapologetic. Mad Charles is even mad unapologetic. And he's just talking right now. He's like, hey, take it or leave it. I'm just... This is just how I'm moving. This is what I'm thinking. And I'm not going to hold back for no one. This must be another independent brother as well. So, because he be saying a lot of things right now, but look, hey, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for man being unapologetically themselves. Look, you know, this day and age, everyone wants to, you know, get butt hurt about hurting everyone's feelings. Look, at the end of the day, stand by what you got to say, in it? Like, you know, say it with chest. If people don't like it, then that's on them, innit? But at the end of the day, I'm not going to start sugarcoating myself just because it's hurting everyone's feelings. If I learn that from Tom, it upsets you, then it upsets you. Do you know what I'm saying? Talk about it. Shout out to the HOD guys. You know what it's about. Come on. Then I'm white trash. Feel it back. Right. Just feel it back. All right. Come on. Yep. Yeah, I'm white, bro. I ain't apologize for you don't like that I like my skin color than you could. Mm. I like open gun laws. I like drunken bar brawls. I like drinking Budweiser. I like smoking Marlboro. We monstered up in them monster trucks, rolling in heavy machinery. We are believing, protecting what's up. We got that heavy machinery. Pause. Drink beers in a lawn chair. Nothing much going on here. Probably get a few long stairs. Look, you don't belong here. Hey, please don't get mad at me. I did not put up the barrier. People are judging me for my exterior. Man, are you serious? Say the word white and they act like the furious. Man, child, I'm sick as white boy truck. Shotguns, my girls, muddy. I'm a firecracker. We lit it up. We just yeah. living our best life. Don't wrap us up some wax scandal. Beer and blood on a white beater. Jacked up on Jack Daniels. Get my hey, chicken and Sanders. Judge me and I'll backhand him. Tom mm. Pass me that red mask and I'll beat his with an axe handle. Oh. Energy. We don't. Is it white trash? Talk about it. White trash, drinking beer till the night pass. White trash, light a fire if it's cold. White trash, we don't want to be high class. White trash, with a heart made of gold. Call us white trash, like we're someone they know. Mm. Call us white trash. Energy, we don't. we don't. Is it white trash? Mad child, shout out to the both of them. Okay, okie dokie. 
Wow. Hey, guys, look, what do I have to say about that? Look, I just think that was just a solid, just kind of F you to a lot of these people because that will just say, try and um, use the fact that there's their, their skin colour against them, especially during those times, especially back in the day. What well, this was three years ago, right? I'm guessing I'm still on three years ago today. Yeah, 2020 was very divisive times. I'm pretty sure it was like race topics were, were like at the height of the conversations. Everyone's talking about, you know, can black people be racist or what is racism, cultural appropriation? All these conversations are being had. Everyone was walking on eggshells. Everyone's calling everyone racist. White people were just getting all smoke. And uh, like, you know, it's, it's just started getting so divisive. Um, these are very divisive times. And then COVID as well, like, yeah, there was so much going on during that time. And Tom was just coming out, well, he was basically, I guess he's in a way he's um, neutralizing the whole white trash stigma. Like he's saying, look, yeah, I'm white trash, but he's using it in his favor. Like he's not gonna let that label hold him back. He's gonna say, look, call me white trash, but yeah, I'm white trash with chest. You know, you guys wanna like make me feel bad about being who I am, but look, this, this is who I am, this is what I think. Mad Charles, this is who I am, this is what I think. And just because you don't disagree with it, it's not, it, does not, it doesn't necessarily mean you gotta start like that like, canceling man, or it doesn't mean that I can't say it. I don't know that you can say what you want, you have, you have your own, you know, you've got your own rights, freedom of speech. It's just these days, like everyone wants to cancel if you don't agree with the main agenda. And these guys are just saying, look, there's an FB to your face. Look, I stand by what I believe and this is what I believe. Whether you like it, whether, it's, whether you think it's racist, call me white trash, I don't care. And I respect it. That's that's type of energy I respect because even from watching guys like Tom and just, you know, learning more, it's like even being on YouTube, it's like you, you, just can't, you can't pander too much to everyone's needs. Sometimes people are going to get upset and that's just how it's going to go. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, you know that's as long as you know as long as you you're being true to yourself i feel like that's the only thing that matters like let me let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section below um let me know what you guys thought of this tune this is the first feature that i've heard of with um tom mcdonald so it's very interesting it seems like tom you know tends to partner up with people that are very much on the same vibe as him and i respect it um yeah let me know what you guys thought of this was this your favorite tune um and what do you guys think of mad child should i check out some of his music let me know but guys look the next Episode episode 25 is going to be sober, so this is going to be an interesting one. It's looking like it's going to be a deep one, but I guess I'm about to find out in the next episode, guys. And guys, we made it this far, as always. Shout out to you guys for liking, watching, and viewing this content, even to the end, because, you know, these days on YouTube, tension span be hella low, and it does me, it does a big favour for me on YouTube, especially if you're watching the videos through. It helps let YouTube know that, you know, you guys enjoy the video, and it pushes out more in the algorithm and whatnot. So, thank you guys for supporting the channel, and liking, and doing all those things, and subscribing, guys. So, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you guys. Um, and yeah, guys, as always, I've been your boy Jay Flex. This has been Tom McDonald featuring Mad Child in White Trash, and you guys have been absolutely wonderful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.